Oh, absolutely. All right, do you want right. to do the honors? Sure, let's get into it. In the bottom left here, in the blue, he is from Psystorm taking a long ass series over Ratata. He is Gerald. And his opponent in the upper right, representing Prep Esports, it is Hanmano, the Red Terran. This should be a spicy one. I, I'm actually, I don't know about you, I'm a little surprised. Uh, a little surprised to see Han Mano in the final. Wait, we're actually in the semis, aren't we? We are in the semis. I'm sorry, that was such a long series. <laughs> I've done it before. You really said it, but like, oh my god, that was long. Well, we got part. Oh, yeah, we got a Mark Schlappy build here. One barracks proxy at home, one barracks on the map. Yep, there we go, proxy marauder. Here we go. As uh, Chicken Man and I saw earlier, uh, funnily enough, uh, Balemolf, one thing I wanted to point out while we just the sidetrack as we're warming up here, we, I, I, I don't know about you, I'm 100% certain this is Proxy Marauder, but uh, the funniest thing we saw, and why I was mentioning the meta, we saw stor Fast Storm Drop in PVZE. Oh, what? Yes. I, I'm telling you, some of the games in the series, I'm like, I'm sending this to Pig in Loco at the least, because, uh, my God, or honestly, it's just, it was, that's how crazy the games were, because these guys, I don't think it was just memeing, I think it was literal, uh, just getting adjusted to things and trying stuff out. <laughs> Tell me yeah, that's not wild. Yeah, we're definitely going to see things change up a little bit, um, I know when I when I cast Neve versus Solar uh, in the PTR tournament that mm -hmm. Wardy ran, it was awesome. We had five different builds from the Protoss in five different games because, I mean, you're talking about this. The PTR it, it shook up the meta in PVZ far more than any other matchup. I mean, PVT okay, there's no proxy voids. Maybe the Terran can be a bit greedier. Mm -hmm. Kind of it. Maybe maybe they can react to DTs a little bit more, but it doesn't really impact things all that much. PVZ though. It absolutely does. And look at this, Gerald. He's countering a proxy with a proxy, but I think his proxy might just be a little bit too slow for the proxy, if I'm to know. Oh, yes. Yeah. Got some shells are done. You're pretty much. Well, I do like the adapt opener a little more than a stalker, because that would be instant dead with the concussive shells there. It is going to be scout. Ooh, no, it's not. Nice dodge there. The man breaking ankles since day one. So. Now the Marauders arrive, Bunker going on up, and this is a proxy target, so it should be proxy, it should be for Oracles later on. But, as we've been talking about, you gotta kinda survive the first push. So, Probe's getting pulled here to try to buffer things off the line. Marauders not taking too much damage just yet. Adepts will be able to shade backwards, so they stay alive for now, but still, a bunch of workers go down. Shield battery going down as well here, and now Geralt, he realizes he has to pull the probes, he has to survive, but the Bunker's just about done, so that's not gonna do too much for him anyways. Three Marauders on the map as well, so that means these Adepts, they're fallen. Citizen's Arrest! Oh, he the Marauder stays alive. Good micro here from Hanmano, and this is just a dead Geralt, right? Uh, well, the worker loss-wise, yeah, I'm thinking we're going to see him tap out pretty shortly. He actually had a few things he could do yet. Uh, there's, yeah, Warp Gate. What? Warp Gate's still in? He's not producing anything at the start yet. He should be tapping out. GG is called. Hanmano takes it. Yeah, that was... For a moment, I think he had a, a few different reactions he could have done, Bale. But, yeah, it was just too much, and, and unfortunately, like, kind of a build order loss a little bit, too, I, I think. Yeah. Without the scout. I mean, we, we've seen... I've actually seen... Uh, it's interesting. And in that even though, technically, the, the builds... The, the, the PTR should not have impacted PVT all that much. I have seen... So much instability in this matchup over like the last month, maybe less. Uh, a lot of these pro you keep you, uh, you go like an, an edited max packs where you keep you build your first gateway at home, but you build the second one across the map. The um, what Hanum No just did, it feels like the PVT has gotten much cheesier in oh, the yeah. last, I don't know, three weeks, three, four weeks. Yeah, it's uh, certainly seeming to be the case certainly seeming to be the case i've uh definitely had the same <laughs> the same thing uh and anything i've been casting to a lot more early aggression <laughs> than we uh we're seeing just before other than you know your proxy stargate okay we're changing servers uh, uh well we're changing yeah hosted servers we're still on a name 
Yep. Man. Yeah. I just love that NA is technically the, the cheesiest server, right? Because, you know, what is what is NA the chemical symbol for? Sodium. Exactly. And what is <laughs> sodium? Salt. Exactly. NA. We all get saltier for cheese. It works out. In fact, a lot of cheeses are fairly salty as well. So regardless, whichever way you want to cut it, whichever way you cut it. Uh, you because. know, that's a very good point. Without the, you cannot have cheese without the salt. <laughs> Check it. That would be a good match, I think, if we just saw that. Did, did you notice that Chicken Man versus Geralt? I, th I think that'd be uh, one for the fans, huh? Yeah, I've definitely uh, been playing in some like EPT cups, or I've been not playing, casting some EPT cups, and a player just kind of forgets to swap me out because I, I got the, yeah. I the fastest fingers, and it's like, um, I spawn in the game. Wait a minute. Yeah. Wait a minute. I do notice you in the lobbies a. A bit on those, uh, say the least. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, game two. Here we go. Spawning in the bottom left corner of Blackburn, representing Psystorm Gaming. It is Geralt. His opponent up 1 0 with uh, some cheeky moves. Call it that for Prep Esports. Han Mano. Yeah, he is, uh, very spicy player. I've been enjoying casting him uh, and getting the opportunity to more and more. I'm actually surprised he he made it. He's hit or miss on the Chicken Men Testa opens just because of the time, but he's made quite a few. Uh, same as Keen. Like, this is hella late for those guys. I'm kind of surprised, uh, honestly. Or not surprised. I'm disappointed that I did not get to cast Han Mano versus Three Point because... Again, mm -hmm. Three Point has also been making a name for himself as this up and comer. He's just exploding on the scene, knocking off players. He killed Max Packs in a series. But he yeah. is something we've been missing from Zergs in that he's a cheesy Zerg. Yeah. And it feels so hard as a Zerg to cheese out a Terran, cheese out a Protoss, just because of really how stable their openers tend to be. So, Three Point, really a breath of fresh air. But, uh, Humano, he's doing the same thing once again. Ooh, I like Same this out, out of Geralt. Let's hope he doesn't just, uh... Let's see what he does. Ah, uh, there we go. Good <laughs> good SCV micro there. Mm -hmm. Making the supply people get built a little bit more to keep the SCV alive. And, hey. Tech Lab on the barracks. Marauders are on the way once again. What do you think? Does the, Do we have the same result? Or does the defini definition of insanity not hold? Uh, honestly, I think we're going to see a little bit different results. Uh, Geralt has delayed the Nexus, as you see, and gotten the gas. So I think he is going to just set up safely. Yeah, it's a little bit delayed of a Nexus. Uh, the Zealot is actually pretty huge against this. But I want to just see what his reaction is. One thing I'd say, ironically, that what was cheesy ironically was pretty good as a defense in some cases and like this is one of those oh stargate mm, i don't know how much i like the stargate though i would have liked to see some uh shield batteries immediately like one on the high ground and then another gate maybe and just cancel the nexus it sounds crazy but this is looking pretty committed from our Terran player yeah and the, the problem is that you talk about zealot early being good against this build well the zealot Avoids it all, so he's, he doesn't know that this is happening until right now. Now a depth shade, oh, and it completes the shade outside of the base. That is nice because it knocks down reinforcements, but this just gives room now for Hamano to find his way into the high. Oh, he's going to be uh, he's going to be able to depower this pylon. Uh, okay, so he's warp gate will be delayed to start. A depth shade's back in, but it's already taken a lot of damage here. Good micro from Hamano does mean that he should kill a lot of things, but nice hold position means it's not really holding aggro for a moment, but even still, the army microing backwards. SCV's falling, sure, but more and more probes. They're dying with three Marauders here. Unfortunately, it looks like Geralt is falling victim to that great definition of insanity. You would do the same thing multiple times and expect a different result. This time, this is gonna depower everything, but a Void Ray's out now, actually, oh, the in the Ray. last second. And that, never mind, he holds. Yeah, that Void Ray actually just holds it. He does hold at what cost those seven workers to 15, but the Void, just does it this this could pretty much just end a lot of things uh there's only a one barracks at home i almost wouldn't hate the void ray after all this is cleaned up just going back 
and uh, doing some damage in the worker line of Hanmano. And that's absolutely what we're going to see here, Gerald. He's going to move on to the other side of the map because he understands that there is not going to be much anti-air right now. Yes, there is a factory. Yes, we will eventually see Cyclones, but it's two Marines versus a... Yeah, it's two Marines versus a Void Ray and two Adepts. That is just not anything. And with a reactor going on down, this reactor will die, by the way. So any benefit that Hanmano may find from it is just not going to be there. This is a dead Terran. And it is, yeah. it, man, what a big difference it makes in that game. That Void Ray almost yeah. was canceled. It popped out as the pylon died. Yeah, that was the that was damn lucky and well played by Geralt. That was certainly a beautiful hold, to say the least. A little sloppy, it felt like, uh, for a bit. I, I don't know about you, Bayo, but I thought that was a smidge sloppy, but still, nonetheless. I feel like... I feel like we could have had Hanno snipe that pylon earlier. He does. He did like all the shield damage to the cybercore, then backed up. But there really was a point where he could have wedged himself on in there and killing and killed the pylon, and that would have been worth, I think, maybe losing a marine or two, or losing a marauder or something. Because while his rally would have been too strong, delaying the the warp gate means you don't get much out of that gateway. And then, well, no Voidery pops out, and that really did turn out to be the hold. But game three, Mr. Testa, is going to be on Glittering Ashes. It's a uh, bit bigger of a map. Do yeah. we see the same thing again? <laughs> uh, honestly, I don't find it outside of the realm of possibility. Uh, Hanmano has got to be very excited to be on in the semis and doing as well as he is. Uh, but I, I wouldn't be surprised to see another cheese but maybe he's gonna change it up this time is my prediction all right how about you yeah i don't know i think i know he was rather vocal about wanting the wanting to get on it is late his time so would not surprise me he's a cheesy terran anyways but we're gonna have to see what his opponent in the upper right can do because he took that game he tied it up for Sci storm he's gerald and in the lower left, we saw him cheese and, you know, proxy Marauder, in fact, two games in a row, and I saw him do it earlier. Give it up for Prep Esports, Hanmano. And I think uh, this it's a little different. That's a really early guess. I think we might see a Reaper play and do a 1 1 1, is my guess. I'll buy that. Tell me, Testa, do you, what do you know about Korean cheeses? Um, I usually can call them, but like right now, but it would like in what regard? Know. Like what about? I mean, oh, I know it, plentiful, actual... plentiful things about you know French cheese and American oh, cheese. Oh, cheese, and... like actual cheeses. Yeah, yeah. A not a damn thing, my friend. Not a damn. That's actually a good point. Korean cheeses. It's something I've never thought of. But now I want to know. So, do you know anything about them or not? No, that's what I don't know. I'm. That's why I'm asking. We need to get special in here. Yeah, special. What type of cheese do Koreans eat? That is, or do they just skip it? And is it just like straight to, straight to tofu or something? Is it soy-based cheese? I mean, I don't think you can call that cheese. I mean, it'd be exactly. It would be uh, certainly not. Look at this. Uh, did I not call it? We are going to see some Korean play right here in a Korean build. Special casting this. This reminds me of actually special play a little too. At that, we got the uh, one base one one one. I have a feeling is what this is going to be. Gerald is really taking this seriously. Seriously though, the Nax is still not going down. He has one. Okay, one Zella. I thought he had two Zellas, but starting this at the, the Nex is at twenty five supply with a Zealot out. Again, it does mean his Nexus will be rather slower. And in the context of this game. Arguably, it would have been better for him to take the Nexus at the normal time and then develop his tech, develop his defense, and then move from there. But again, we're going to have to see what Hanmano wants to go for. We did see Keen against Christiana go for kind of something similar, a, a tank liberator push with Marines. Um, we're going to have to see what Hanmano goes for, but oh, okay, what no, am I drop? All right, I know this one out of Hanmano because yeah. I've seen him. This is going to be uh, Widow Mines and Marines in a drop. He likes this. I've seen him do this in uh, a few of our opens <clears throat> and uh, in he, a few times. Does Go he on. add the armory, though? Does he make it cloaked with a mines? Uh, he may. I've seen him do either or. Not usually. 
Okay, is he going for a straight Widow Mine drop? Uh, yeah, he was getting the armory. I'd imagine it'd be. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he's just going for the cheeky armory Widow Mine drop opener. And that, yeah, this is going to be rather nice for Amino here. This is a strict Twilight opener. I don't know that we're going to have a quick robo. Uh, Geralt, again, his tech is a little bit delayed. Or his everything is delayed because his Nexus was delayed. But there we go. Robo on the way as the medevac finds its way onto the other side. He will get one shot off, and they will be cloaked for a while, but the question is whether the second shot will be able to get off before the Observer is complete. And that really is your marker of worth. So, Testa, Dave. Yep. Does this kill Geralt? Is now the medevac actually... It's going to go on in. Is their army in position? There's actually not a lot of probes in the natural, no. and they are going to be able to escape for now... I think he might into be the... in a good spot to hold these. Oh, beautiful reaction from our Protoss, but the lost mining time is going to be... Well, Geralt actually is pretty cognizant of a lot of this. But what's in this other drop? Another Widow Mine drop? This is where things get really scary for our Protoss. Uh, because you got to react to eight Widow Mines uh, cloaked. And, ooh, a little late pull. Oh, actually, oh. it was just in time. Just in time. All right, well, sometimes getting pulled. But not in the main. Oh, oh. God, the target fire. Oh. Um, it's painful. Poor Gerald. Yeah, Gerald, the honorable Polish Protoss. I mean, he's been pulling out the cheese sometimes too lately. I think he finally got to a point where he's like, you know what? Every Everybody else be cheesing on all the servers. I think it's time. <laughs> uh, look at this. Um, no, he's got, he's got cloak banshees or... He's, he's got Banshee Star without Cloak coming in behind this as well. Just doing the old, well, if I found value, I'm going to find more value. That sounds like fun. Widowmine drop in once again, but Stalker's in position. And honestly, I'm know he drops Widowmines into the natural. It doesn't matter because there are only three probes on the mineral line. It's not really worth doing. It, it, it's, you're not yeah. going to find any value. So the Banshee is going to push with the tank and the Marines with Stim. So this is going to be a timing attack for our Terran player. However, the Adept is gonna find some kills. We might see a little bit of, uh, you know, well, actually just two Marines might stop this alone. But if this oh, Adept sees the tank, I bet you, yep, Geralt sees it all. All right, so Geralt, of course, he, maybe, maybe not, because he was rather distracted on the other side of the map. The Widowmine drop finding his way on in once again. Stalkers, oh, they blink in, but they don't target the right one. No, Geralt, the shot. Oh, Seven no. more workers go down. Ah, oh, he blinks right on top of the Widowmine. Seriously. And doesn't target it down. Han Mato not only getting some good value there, he's just securing that supply lead in... Well, in every case, Geralt only has a 16 supply in Blink Stalker as well. Behind Dark Shrine is the play from our Protoss player, Bale. <laughs> well, Dark Shrine's went behind, went ahead. When in any state of the game, build a Dark Shrine, it will work on out for you. Uh, does Hanmano pull his SCVs with this? As we talk about this Stalker tank time, it actually looks like no. He's just kind of developing his way into the mid game. Next, he's up on the high ground, on the low ground. And Geralt, he does have blink. So there is going to be this timing now where he does try to make something happen. And of course, Stalkers without, well, if they don't have detect, or if they do have detection on the look, Banshees, they are a rather good thing. So the Observer shows up on the high ground. He's going to say, okay, there's still a tech lab on that starport i don't know what it is but that's interesting that's kind of atypical from what a terran would have right now and gerald looking for i guess a bit of contain he really can't do too much with these six stalkers but we're gonna have to see because now hanmano venturing forward just a little bit dave it's getting a little tense yeah this is certainly looking like a lot of terran uh with all the tools but these blank stalkers might be able to get some good value do we get a good target fire Oh, man. Imagine if he target fired that head back. That would have been uh, something. Well, while all this is going on in the front, that was a Banshee. It wasn't a Raven. Look what we got going in the main base. It's the mullet, Bale. Business in the front. Party in the back. The DT's having a field day. Oh, wait a minute. The scan was used at the front of things to knock down the Observer. So there's only one scan in this game right now. Tank's actually doing friendly fire. Ten SCVs go down. And uh, there, there's just no scans. And oh, look at look at what look at what Hanmo or look what Geralt did by the way. He targets down the tech lab. He says, "No, you don't get a banshee, yeah. or excuse me, a raven in this game." So SCV in the main finding so much value. 
It's 10 seconds from a scan of the natural. 20 seconds, 25 seconds for a scan in the main base. Uh, I don't know why this DT is being so reticent to find value, but it's still it's 20 absolutely workers. just... Okay, get, get the missile turret, though. Okay, there's the scan. And the DT will go down now, but that's only the only scan. Whoa. Granted, the missile turret does invalidate things. No, the warp prism will stay alive. Second scan gets dropped, and it runs on away, runs out of things. But again, vision from the warp prism is not enough. Or vision from the missile turret is not enough. The DT does stay alive. Omino, now he's down 14 workers. Now all the damage he got done early seems to not matter. Gerald, he's got disruptors on the way as well. I really like this. He's going into Blink Stalker Disruptor behind this. He kept he kept the DT alive, and I think the warp prism was the debate. He's like, oh, he saved the DT. So this is all in from our Terran player right now. I yeah, he's pulling boys off the natural after losing that many workers. This is all in from Han Mano. Oh, disruptors on the high ground though. Han Mano, does he have the split? Yes, he does. For the first one, second one going off though. Oh God, oh, Han Mano! Damn, that was a great Nova. Okay. Even still, the tanks, they will be able to resiege. And while this is not the greatest position for Hanmano, he is still up 30 army supply. He will knock that robo down. This is a terrifying army for the Terran player that it's going to take a little bit of finesse for Geralt to pick away yet. His charge is not yet done, but disruptor shots. Now they're going to get a lot more. Second one, though, will go down. No more disruptors in the game. And there are not a lot of stalkers here as well. They cannot engage onto the four tanks. So these Banshees... They're going to rain a lot of damage from above. DT's getting warped in them. This is going to be the thing. Stark's warping on in. One, two tanks go down. Stark on the high ground. The Banshees, they're still doing what they can. And there's just no detection. It looks like Hamano's spending all of his all of his energy on mules. What was but... funny is behind this, there was a Marine and a Marauder killing his own barracks uh, while a Dark Templar killed what was left of that mineral line. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I think, uh, well... That was a spicy uh, semifinals bail. And it was. Rather quick. Much quicker than your recording.